Competitive environments have changed considerably in the last little while. There have been a number of factors. Um, we can look at the macroeconomic drivers, such as uh, the economic situation. The recession has certainly changed in unprecedented ways how we're competing. Time horizons have changed. Um, entire industries um, have, uh, where the boundaries have blurred, is, uh, these are changing the way we compete. Uh, but there have been other factors. There have been political factors, opening up new markets, uh, societal factors. And the backdrop has been, of course, a massive technological change. All of these have changed the way we're competing. The basic change to our thinking on strategy is that um, what we used to consider the firm's right to win, that is, if a firm did more or less what it should have been doing uh, in terms of assessing markets correctly, in terms of uh, reconfiguring and configuring their resources, firms had a better than equal chance to win in the past. This is no longer given. The shortened uh, time horizons have um, shown that this notion of sustainability, sustainability or sustainable competitive advantage being the holy grail and strategy for many years, um, still interesting conceptually, but realistically, um, we're talking about moving from unsustainable competitive advantage to unsustainable competitive advantage. So that's certainly one of the um, implications for firms. The other implications are, of course, that industry boundaries are blurring. So we are no longer, firms are no longer clear on what industry they're competing in. And if you look at uh, companies like Apple, if you look at Google, well, what industries are they active in? Are they in search? Are they active in telecoms? Are they active in computing? Um, are they in media? Well, if you look at Apple, they're in all of those. So where does this leave the individual competitor? So we're thinking much less in terms of industry, competition, rather we're uh, defining spheres of competition or arenas of competition as being one way that this has been described. And it's really identifying the unique competing space within and across industries um, that firms are seeking to establish themselves competitively. Firms are, first of all, against these shortened time horizons. Um, they're redefining themselves um, much more clearly in terms of where they see this opportunity window in this unique competing space. And then it's very much of a question of reconfiguring. Reconfiguring what you have already now against a very dynamic environment um, and against um, the fact that it's no longer about competition in any given industry. It's about identifying that pot of resources which a firm is after. And th that might be, for example, consumer household spending rather than defining yourselves as being um, competing in a given industry. So that's um, certainly one change for firms in how they're reconfiguring their, their strategy, how they're redefining themselves. But it is very much around these opportunity spaces, um, again, which are no longer a single industry, but which, which may well be across industries. This also has implications, of course, where um, firms are looking for competition because your competitor may be in a totally different environment today. Tomorrow, he's competing head on with you. Given the situation in which firms are um, finding themselves competitively, uh, given the shortened time horizons, giving, given the changing nature of competition, um, the question is to how should firms approach a strategy? Well, they have less and less um, room and time for experimentation, for one thing. Firms have to get it right pretty well from the outset. Um, and one way that firms can do that is to look at their strategic boundaries. There are basically three strategic boundaries, which if the need arises for strategy to be reviewed, this is where um, the change is most likely to have occurred. One is the interface to the competition. And this is, you know, who are the competition, who are the new competitors, what are their offerings. The second cluster of issues typically arises towards the market, the structure of the market, emerging markets, changing markets. And the third cluster of issue um, strategically that typically arises is 
The third boundary, which represents a threshold of what the firm has and needs to mobilize and exploit, in other words, reconfiguration here, in order to meet the needs of the market. These are the three areas where strategic issues typically arise, and this is where firms should be focusing on to cut to the chase, so to speak, in strategizing and in, in ensuring that they don't get distracted uh, in their strategy.